So it's January in Sonoma County, and even though it's raining and there isn't a lot going on, the one thing that we have a bountiful amount of is Meyer lemons. My favorite thing to do to preserve the season when you have a giant glut of any fruit is to find ways to utilize it, but also to save it in a product that you can then use throughout the season and throughout the year. So I was fortunate enough to receive two giant bags of Meyer lemons from friends, and we're going to make lemon curd today. Lemon curd is essentially a combination of lemon zest, lemon juice, and eggs, egg yolks, sugar, and a small amount of butter. The first thing we're going to do is zest the lemons because there's an immense amount of essential oils and flavors that come out of the lemons. To zest them, there's all sorts of different sizes of microplanes. This one's slightly coarse, but we're going to be straining out the zest anyhow, so it doesn't have to be super fine. You just want to make sure when you're zesting them that you are not going too far down into the pith, which is the whiter part of the lemon. You're only wanting to get the bright yellow part. And this is where you get a lot of the flavor from your citrus <clears throat> when you're making things, whether it's with oranges or tangerines or um, lemons. Now that we have our lemon zest, which contains tons of essential oils for the lemon curd, we're going to put it aside and we're going to start juicing the lemons. The thing that I like about this recipe the most, and it was given to me by a pastry chef a very long time ago, is that it works in a simple ratio of one cup of juice to one cup of yolks to one cup of sugar, two ounces of butter, and a quarter cup of zest. The nice thing about this recipe is that you can then size it up or size it down, meaning when someone gives you a, an immense amount of lemons and you can get three cups of juice out of it, then you have three cups of yolks and three cups of sugar and six ounces of butter. So you can scale it up and down, which I like in all of my recipes. I don't make small quantities. I make large quantities and then package them to be frozen or utilized in different ways. So now that we have the zest, we're going to juice the lemons. I'm hoping to make a three cup ratio, meaning three cups of lemon juice, three egg, cups of egg yolks, three cups of sugar, and six ounces of butter. So we yielded four cups of lemon juice. We have a cup of lemon zest. We'll see if we can yield four cups of egg yolks. I have a feeling it'll be three, so then we'll freeze and save the extra cup that's left over. The thing that I like about lemon curd is that it freezes really well. No one's going to turn down having a gift of lemon curd. When you're making it, you also get a lot of excessive egg whites, which then you can use in other recipes. It can be used for a lot of things. It can be used as a filling in a cake. It can be put into a tart shell. You can fold lemon curd into a vanilla ice cream base if you're making ice cream and get a very bright, rich, creamy lemon ice cream. Um, some people just like it spread on toast. But it's a very useful product to have in your freezer or refrigerator. And it's fairly stable. It freezes really well and it'll keep up to a month or two under refrigeration because it has so much sugar and acidity in it. So what we yielded was two cups of egg yolks and we have four cups of lemon juice and a cup of zest. So we have two cups of yolks into a bowl, two cups of the Meyer lemon juice. We will take half of this lemon zest. If we add all the lemon zest that we have, it can become 
potentially a little too bitter. Um, so we'll save that. The beauty of lemon juice is it freezes really well. So you're still capturing the full flavor of the season. And then we'll add two cups of sugar. The best part about this recipe is, is that it is, there's some prep to be done, but then there is a bit of inactive cooking that happens. Once this these three ingredients are combined and you've broken up all the yolks, which doesn't take much energy, you're going to put it on a bain-marie on the stove over low simmering heat and you're going to leave it there. I leave the whisk in the bowl so that every 20, 15, 20 minutes I come by and give it a whisk. Cooking it in a bain marie helps to cook the curd fully and make it thick, but you don't have to watch it for scrambling eggs. So you can go on to do other things, whether you're cooking other things in the day or you have other activities that you need to do, it doesn't have to be watched constantly. So I'll whisk this every once in a while, and then at the very end, when it's completely thickened, I will add in the butter, whisk that in, and then we will strain it and package it, either for the freezer or for whatever other project we're gonna use. So the lemon curd's been cooking about 10 to 15 minutes. It's nice and thick. You can take it off of the stove and you can see that it's fully kind of almost like a gelatin texture to it. We're going to add in four ounces of butter. This was a recipe that started out with one cup of yolks, one cup of juice, one cup of sugar, and two ounces of butter. We then doubled it. You whisk in the butter until it's all in and it'll sort of appear to have loosened up. It's partly because the butter has liquid in it, water and um, the fat has melted. The butter will end up, as it chills, help thicken up the curd. This becomes a fairly thick, spreadable curd. Then what you want to do is pour it through a strainer. Because the product is so thick and has so much lemon zest in it, you do have to kind of push it through the strainer, but you want to strain it because of all the lemon zest and then also it's egg, so there's bits of egg yolk and little tiny pieces of egg white that were not um, separated out. It's just a textural thing and it's not pleasant. You really want to have a very smooth lemon curd that doesn't have little bits in it. And then what you have is a really beautiful golden yellow lemon curd. I like to chill this with a piece of parchment over the surface of the lemon curd so that it um, doesn't form a skin like puddings do. Some people put plastic wrap over it. I just put a small round circle of parchment over it, let it sit for a little bit at room temperature and then chill it. Then I pack it in one cup portions so that I can use it for recipes. And it makes it easy to defrost it if it's frozen. This is a great thing to do when you have to entertain. You can make this ahead of time and it'll keep in the refrigerator or in the freezer and then you add it to other things, whether it's just as a garnish to a cake or it's folded into something else, um, kind of sings of the winter time. It's the bright flavor when we're in our darkest times. Um, so enjoy it.